Football Pandemonium with Max is brought to you by IBEX, Mike Spence Center, and Kronzberg Electric. Welcome to week 10 of Football Fandemonium. We are well on our way to finding the biggest football fan here on the high desert. And last week our search continued with a couple of fans who wear the same colors to support different teams. So who won the game of green and yellow? Prideful Packers or diehard Ducks? Your week 10 winner is... Oh, oh, waiting on it, waiting on it. There it is, 53% of the votes go to Jack Brewer. Uh, taking down our local U of O fans here, Jack, congratulations to you and the Green Bay Packers. So now you've earned $49 in gift cards to local retailers and you're also now the ninth addition to our 16 person bracket. We got a good mix of fans here, a couple of 49ers faithful, a tiny Trojan, a little bit of everything. So when this gets finally filled out by January and at that point we will have a playoff to find out who is the greatest fan in all the land. The grand prize is a tailgate party package from Ibex. For week 10, it's a college against the pro team once again. Can the Ducks fans get redemption for their week nine loss or will this Broncos fan add another fan of the Broncos to our Fandemonium bracket? Let's check out the matchup. It's game day. Uh, I'm one of the first down there in the dark with my coffee. Uh, ready to go. Heidi Albertson, a dedicated Ducks fan since 1982. Bleeding green and yellow for nearly 40 years, Heidi has seen both the good and the not so good sides of the team, but she stood with them through it all. Through the tough times where there was nobody in the stands, to now, you know, folks can hardly get a ticket. But Heidi is more than just a fan, more than just a graduate. Let's check out her resume. She's a donor to the school, travels for both football and basketball games, and now sure, other fans might be able to say the same. But here's where Heidi has you beat. She served on the board of directors for the Oregon Club of Eugene and Springfield for more than 20 years, and she's the director of sports travel for the graduate Eugene Hotel. And her close connection to the team has led to some pretty incredible stories. February 24th. Um, our hotel put on a big party for the Ducks. And we had games, we had a DJ, um, we had all these, you know, different foods. Uh, the nutritionist, of course, had a say in what we were able to feed him. Mario, he goes, he goes, this is phenomenal. He goes, this is phenomenal. He goes, this is the greatest thing because we're always trying to keep the kids busy with things to do after the season or keep them, you know, engaged. And he said, I can't thank you, you know, enough for doing this. And I said, well, we can't thank you you know, for what you do for us. Heidi, you make a good case for yourself here, but can you beat this Broncos fan who takes his love of football to the Lynx? I mean, look at that. He's got the bag, the beanie, the club covers, the polo, and shorts so loud, I feel like I'm at Mile High Stadium. His submission says, it doesn't matter if you play well when you look this good. And my guy, as someone who struggles to shoot under 100, I can really appreciate that statement. But how much does Central Oregon appreciate it? We have a week to find out. And you can vote later tonight on KTVZ.com. You'll find a poll on the right-hand side of the page under the Sports tab. And if you want a chance to be featured next week, just send in your photo to KTVZ.com slash play. But make sure you get those votes and those picks in by next Thursday. And remember, whether it's a college or a pro team that has your heart, this is your chance to show off your team spirit because it's your turn to take the field, Central Oregon. I'll see you next Friday for Week 11 of Football Fandemonium. Max out.